Hey y'all, back with another video for the day. Number deuce, deuce, whatever, two. Coffee, thanks Jesus. <clears throat> Note, caveat to this, it's my opinion. That's it, my opinion. If you disagree with it, rock on. This is a 5.56 by 45 cartridge. Okay. This you see everywhere. You see a lot of guys with ARs and they're putting silencers on their ARs for this bullet. This is a junk bullet. <clears throat> it is a junk bullet to be shooting suppressed. This bullet is not made for that. It never was. It never was designed to be. Um, my opinion, it's a junk bullet for suppression. The only thing that a silencer gives you on a 5.56 is mitigation of um, flash. That's my opinion. Your mileage may vary. I've shot a lot. Now, I'm not giving you data and scientific da 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 da. This is my experience. I've shot a lot of 5.56s with a lot of different silencers. The best one that I've seen that works is made by Huxworks, which is their their flow through their flow through gas system they have for their silencers. Um, <clears throat> but it's shit. Okay, if you think you're going to get decibel ratings like you like you want, you're never going to get out of five five six. My opinion, your mileage may vary. I've shot high end, I've shot low end um, uh, ARs with uh, AAC 30 caliber cans, Hut Works 556, uh, Surefire K 556, just a variety of different cans, high quality cans, and they all, it's still loud. The only good thing is it mitigates flash. That's it. That is a 300 blackout cartridge. That works suppressed. It's a 30 caliber cartridge. This works. That doesn't. Now, you because you because you, the the 300 blackout is based off the 300 whisper. This bullet sounds phenomenal out of a silencer um my my silencer that i use is an omega 9k it's great for reduction of uh, flash and sound but more importantly is even and there's other 30 caliber cans that are better than that but um the tone that you get out of even the Mega 9K because it's so short and it's a nine millimeter can rated, rated up to super and subs. So it's not even a dedicated uh, 30 caliber can. It is much quieter. It's, it's made for a silencer, made for it. And that's what the video is about. Not made, made for not made made for so the the thing about that is is this is made for a silencer that's not you're trying to do something that it's never was able to do that is designed for it so you're going to get better performance out of this than that the uh <clears throat> the thing is it's like i've said before in videos you got to pay to play so you're going to pay price for the silencer, you're gonna pay price for the bullet to get quiet. The quietest I have ever heard out of a 5.56 was a Wildcat cartridge. That was somebody that loaded Wildcat, that, wild, that loaded their, their, their own 5.56 ammo specifically for suppression. And in an AR semi-automatic rifle, it's just garbage. But it, in a bolt gun, 
that would work. In a bolt gun, in a bolt action rifle, that will work. I've seen it. Uh, I've seen guys that, that got their formula down right, and that is super nasty quiet. This, you don't have to do all that. You just got to pay for that. This is a lot of work. Plus pay, that's pay. Because the work's already done for you. Okay? So, and you can play around. The thing, too, is that the 300 blackout cartridge gives you, you can play around with the grains. So, like, for me, I always stay 120, 125 on supers, and 220 only on subsonic. I go the, the, all the way to the two, 220 grain range for subsonic ammunition. Um, <clears throat> and that way I know where I'm at. This ain't made for that. This is. That's my opinion. Your mileage may vary. It's like I say, I try to do short videos. Junk on a silencer, perfect on a silencer. 300 blackouts better than 5.56. I'll say it again, it's better than 5.56. My opinion, your mileage may vary. The only negative that these little suckers give you right now, the cheapest I've seen, the cheapest I've seen for a 300 blackout is a dollar round. That sucks. Um, the uh, 140, 145, the 150 grain stuff is garbage. I don't, I won't buy any of that. Uh, I get terrible uh, minute of angle out of the performance of that of, of uh, cartridges like that. 110, I can get uh, sub him away all day long. Win him away. Uh, 115, 120, 125. I get beautiful accuracy out of 300 blackout out to 300 and 400 yards. Um, this versus this. This, because they've got the formula down so good, yes, if you're wanting like dead ass accuracy, like the best accuracy you can get out, out of it, you can't go wrong with 556. Five, this takes work for that. But in the 300 yard line, this is beautiful. This can go toe to toe with that any day of the week. So when it comes to these two bullets, they both got a give and a take. But I'll take this one any day of the week over that one. The only thing, the only reason why I buy 5.56 five, is because this is a dollar a round. That's it. Y'all's mileage may vary, and I got some more videos coming up directly. Bye now.